Hi everyone, <clears throat> it's Will Taylor. Sorry, my voice is a little rough. I am uh, getting ready for a show tomorrow, and once again, this is a five-minute tip. You can get these um, daily if you sign up below. The information is below. I'll also be having a camp on how to run your business, run your music business, run your creative life in a way that maximizes the efforts that you're doing and, help, and shows you how to take what little time you have and maximize that so you get a maximum return on investment. And you have more time to do the art you want to do and to connect with the people that um, connect with your music and are excited about your music or your art or your business. This can be applied to any endeavor that involves marketing and creating some kind of product or art. So please pass the word and share this information with, with uh, anybody you like who you might think could use this information and help them. My goal is to help people save time with use technology and help them save time and not be buried by technology because that's the tendency these days. So today I'm giving you, um, showing you a quick example of I have a show tomorrow and I don't really have time to write up an email and I don't want to sit, I'm kind of sick, I don't want to sit here and try to come up with something brilliant. So what I do is I repurpose things that I've used in the past. And I want to try to create an email that's going to go out tonight to announce the show that is some fun, interesting, valuable content that even if they don't come to the show, they're going to want to open this and read this. Not just your regular, boring, here's a show tomorrow, guys. And so I'm trying to show you, what I want to show you is, is that it doesn't take a lot of time to create an interesting show update. If you know how to collect information from your audience, like I've been showing you so far, and uh, you don't even need information from your audience. You could go online and look up a really interesting essay or quotes, something that's going to grab their attention. Again, you want to get their attention, and you want to make them become interested and then desire the uh, have a desire to go to the show, have a desire to buy to buy your product and have an action at the end that they take. So what I'm going to do is I know that I have a, a essay that my dad wrote about this Paul Simon, music of Paul Simon, Simon and Garfunkel. And I've shared this before, but not everybody in my 4,000 fans probably has read this. So what I decided to do was look through this essay for a line or two, or just, just one line that I can use to make the, uh, the subject. And so I found one down here human who does not feel the sadness, the sorrow is only half human. So if I put that in the subject, I think that's going to be really, people are going to open that and want to read, find out what that's about. So I'm going to lead with this. Um, this is the subject, and then I'm going to include the essay in my email. And then at the end, I'm going to uh, announce the show. So, uh, all right. So it's, I, so that's how you repurpose. I've had this essay um, stored, and I just pulled it up. I didn't have to write a whole brand new email. I looked for a sentence, one sentence fragment that I can use for the subject that you know gives the idea to my um, fans or an audience that I'm going to share some valuable information with them, some valuable not just information, but a valuable content that they might find interesting, whether they come to the show or not. So they're going to want to open this email, and they're not going to feel like they're being sold to. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay, so I was thinking, actually looking through this, and I just realized that it might be better if I use this. The nearer your destination, the more it keeps <coughs> slip sliding away. I think that would make a much better subject heading. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to copy this, put that into the, All right. the more it keeps, I'm going to just say the more it keeps sliding away. And then I'm going to just say something like, hey, Will, first name. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so 
what I basically did was I just took this whole uh, email that I have in one of my sequences and just made just added a, a line in here about the show. So I say back in 2010, da 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 da. da enjoy this. And join and join us tomorrow night at six thirty for a free performance of this show at Central Market. Now I also looked at the title of the essay here on Simon and Garfunkel from an old guy that was there. I can actually do a split test if I wanted to, since I'm sending this out to my entire list, and use that as a subject because that that's a pretty nice subject too. So I'm going to copy that. And if you notice, this is the whole essay. And at the bottom, I want to have some kind of action. So I have read about my dad here, but that's not really the action I want. I want people to come to the show. So one action per email is enough, usually. On this one, I'm going to include a video of us playing. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to have a PS. Um, about a contest. CD, join our mobile club, our new mobile club. So that's the action I'm going to go for. Try to get people to join the mobile club, and they'll, if they win, they can come to the concert and pick up their free CD. Um, but this is a lot of content. It's a lot more interesting than just you know saying come to our show. And I had this saved, and it's something that I was able to repurpose. Now, if you don't have anything saved, I could go on and find an essay uh, that's on a blog somewhere, and then just you know, have a link to it, maybe like a couple sentences, and, and make sure that I credit the author and link to the essay. Um, you know, if you're doing your own original music, then, you know, this is going to be a little more difficult, but maybe you can pull up some quotes from your fans. Maybe you can write a couple sentences on a new work that you're premiering, a new piece of music. Maybe there's a cover that you're doing or something. You know, just be creative with it. So I'm just trying to give you an idea of how to make an interesting email announcement for a show that just basically takes five or ten minutes and you're done and gets a lot of uh, interaction from your from your your fans. Alright, so thanks for watching. My hope is that you find some things here that are useful for your creative life and that, that they increase your results and that you let me know how, how it's working for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at any of the information below. Share this with your friends. And thanks so much for watching Will's Tips. Hey, everybody. I am now doing a follow-up to um, this email that I just sent out that I showed you that it only takes five or ten minutes to come up with some content that is interesting to your fan base. So they want to open their email up, see an email from you. It's kind of like the uh, the no pot, the A pile and the B pile when you get your mail. If they see something that's that's selling, it sounds advertising like, they're going to immediately throw it in the mail. And that includes something like, "Hey, come to my show" or, you know, "Tonight playing at blah blah blah." You know, those kinds of things are going to immediately look like they're going to be put in the trash. But if you provide your um, <clears throat> your your fan base with with really fun, interesting, engaging content related to the songs, related to what you're doing as a musician, they're going to open their email and go, oh, I'm going to save that from email from Will because it, I know that he provides it, it, content that, that moves me, that's interesting, that's emotionally interesting. So I was able to show you in this video how to do that with um, content that I had saved. But you could also do this very easily by just going on Google. Let's say you wrote a song about your your childhood. You could research and find a poem or find an essay or, you know, just have fun with this. This is a fun process um, of something that you could link to in your email and grab, you know, a quote from a poem and put that in your subject line so that when people see your email, they will open it and want to read it. So I'm just showing you here some of the emails I got and um, if you can see that a lot of these people were actually moved to the point of changing their plans. This person right here says, I am... I can't miss this, and I know that she changed her plan, so I know her personally. Um, Libby Kirkpatrick, the new, let's see, Mike, this guy said, I'll see you tonight, bringing some friends, we love that. Um, this guy says, beautiful, have a great show, I enjoyed hearing it. This person, uh, great reading, I was compelled to follow the link and read about your dad. So, again, 
I had a link in there. I didn't say read about my dad. I just had a link right on his name, right there, dad. So it's a subtle um, indication that they could click and go check it out if, if they self-selected instead of pushing something onto them. You know, I just it subliminally embedded it into the message. And you can see that's how I did. I talked about the show, too. I said, hope to see you tomorrow at Central Market Westgate. And at the top, I also embedded. That's the action that I'm going for. Um, this one says, um, where was the one here that somebody actually cried? You nailed it. So you can see that, that this 10-minute email was very successful in getting people to respond and have emotion. This guy right here, this brought t tears to my eyes. Just words, so much said in the space between them. And one of the things I realized is that that maybe I could have my dad write an essay for every show that I could use and repurpose and then have my dad at the show uh, to sell his books. And that would add some more value to the shows, people getting to come and read not coming, I mean, getting to come and read, and meet him, so, from the emotional reactions to just these words, this guy right here, wonderful, well said, so, you get the idea, so, you know, if you just take a little extra effort, and provide content that your audience loves to read, and, and gets excited, they won't unsubscribe, they'll, they'll become loyal fans, and I want you guys to um, look up Gary Vaynerchuk, because he is the guy that has taught me all about this, he wrote a book called jab, 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 right hook, I believe, and it's all about give, 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 and then ask. So there's another little piece of information that I think will really help you understand this concept and that it really works, and people are always asking me, what is the return on your investment? Well, the return on your investment is you've got people that come to your shows, buy your tickets, buy your products, spread the word about it, and it works. It might take some time to develop, but this does work. So it's not instantaneous and you'll find that uh, you have to invest some time into this and, and give it some time to develop. But I've <clears throat> um, found really great success in this. So all the best to you, and there's some results for you to share. All right. Look down below for more information about the camp that I will be holding, and you can always email me or text me if you have any questions about anything. I'm glad to help. Another thing that um, I wanted to mention is... I'm actually making this video from my iPad in my car as I wait for my daughter to finish looking for some shoes. So another cool uh, hack or shortcut is uh, this um, program. It's an app that will allow me to make a screen uh, share video and uh, show you on the net where I'm, you know, show you things and record that and upload it, upload it to to YouTube and share with you guys. So there's another little hack. Um, I'll put down below what the name of the app is if you're interested. But I was able to knock this out while I'm waiting for my daughter to finish shopping for shoes. So there's lots of little tricks like that, and that's another one of them. So there you go.